In 1944, the geologist Harold Fisk told the story of America's greatest river through a series of 15 beautiful historical maps. All of Fisk's work was shaded by a recent event, specifically the 1927 Mississippi River flood, which had seen thousands of people die, massive displacement, and the river spill over its levees all the way from Cairo, Illinois, south to New Orleans. And Fisk was employed by the Army Corps of Engineers to help set the narrative for the Mississippi River's future. Attempting to tell the story of the Mississippi's future, the Corps believed, entailed having a detailed understanding of its past, and that's where Fisk came in. With his crew, he took 16,000 borings of depths down to 5,000 up to 13,000 feet below the surface of the river. Fisk's 15 maps from Cairo down to the Gulf trace tens of thousands of years of depositional history. And if the Army Corps of Engineers sought a predictable future for the river's pathway, what Fisk traced was something altogether different. Chronologically superimposed atop one another, the river's meanderings looked like the slitherings of a snake across a dusty barn floor. And the metaphor isn't far off because the survey had to sift through the abandoned boundaries of the river as it slipped out of its own skin and moved to a new destination. Perhaps a better metaphor is a mandala, a Zen sand painting made by Buddhist monks, capturing the elaborate detail of human creations, but always swept away in the end, signifying impermanence. What Fisk made was a thing of beauty.